This expanded child tax credit program is going to have a huge impact over 85 percent of American households. And you can see people across the board saying they would like this to be permanent. We don't know if the entire $3.5 trillion bill can get passed. If it doesn't, is it possible to carve out the tax credit so it remains permanent? Oh, that's not even a hypothetical. I'm going to go near because uh, we definitely believe in the Build Back Better plan that's going to pass. And I think what's happening today is such is so historic. I mean, this is a piece of legislation that is in the spirit of Social Security because this same policy is going to be a huge boost for middle class security. It's a huge middle class tax cut for families with working children. At the same time, it is one of the best tools we've ever had to reduce child poverty. But let's just also take a moment in terms of what this means in terms of Joe Biden clearly delivering for working families. This was passed on March 11th. Many people said it could never be made monthly. It couldn't happen this year. And yet President Biden is implementing this so that you're having the first monthly child tax credit payment ever four months later, just four months in July. And that the people getting direct deposit, which is 86 percent, are going to get it on the same day. They're going to be looking into their bank account and see child CTC. And if they have two kids, it's going to be five or six hundred dollars a month that they're seeing starting today. That is truly delivering both in terms of policy and implementation for the American people. And that money finally getting to the most vulnerable Americans who should have been getting it for years, but didn't make enough to file their taxes. Amazing to see that resolve. But I want to go back to what you said in the beginning. You feel like that three point five trillion dollar infrastructure bill will get passed. So you don't have to think about carving this out. I mean, that's a huge number. Well, this was a central part of what the president described as the agreement that came out of the Senate Budget Committee. And what I'll just say is that I believe that this child tax credit is going to be a central driver of that because it is a policy that is is so important for middle income families. And to see it, to see it in your bank account on the 15th of every month, that is just really delivering. And as you said, for low income people, let's understand what happens automatically today. Twenty six and a half million children who are in families where the parents are working hard, but they're the most hard pressed, were never given the same full credit as a more affluent family. That changes today. 26 and a half million children who are in hard working families will now get a full and expanded credit. At the same time, middle class families are getting the largest child tax credit ever. I think you see that delivered like this every month. I think it's going to be not only will it do very well, I think, in the president's budget reconciliation, American Families Plan, whichever you call it. But I think it's going to be a hard vote for somebody to vote against the child tax credit uh, being extended for years and years to come. Let's talk about implementing it. We know we already have a wildly understaffed multiple government agencies like the Treasury and the IRS. Will adding this further hurt our ability to collect the tax money that's going to pay for stuff like this? No, uh, you know, I mean, look, the proof's in the pudding. Uh, Again, we were told you couldn't do a monthly child tax credit. It would be too difficult. It would take, you know, that Social Security took four years before it became monthly. This passed on March 11th. It arrives in people's bank accounts four months later uh, on the same day every month. So uh, this administration has shown that they can execute on this. This administration also believes, however, that that one of, that this is a very high returning investment. But another high returning investment would be to increase enforcement in the IRS for going after tax evasion from uh, some of the largest companies, some of the richest individuals in the world who are not paying their share. So, you know, these are two things that will, you know, are the types of things where you could have very high investments, both making sure people are paying their fair share of the taxes and then being able to use funds to do something like this historic on economic security for working families across the board. 
Yeah, it doesn't make sense to me why people wouldn't want to further uh, fund the IRS. You don't have to change any tax laws. Give the IRS the resources they need to collect the actual taxes owed. Um, I do want to ask you about oversight. You know how difficult it is to oversee something as big as the American Rescue Plan. That's about two trillion bucks. These two new infrastructure bills combined would triple that spending. Can you can you help us understand, is the government capable of handling that kind of spending and have ample oversight? Because in general, people think eh, government's not great at oversight. Well, I think when you look at the American Rescue Plan, I think we've had a very, very serious oversight view. We have set up processes where we are taking stronger reviews, new reviews. This is uh, I can say that in my job coordinating the American Rescue Plan, we have the most open and cooperative relationship with the inspector generals, with the over what's called the PRAC, which is the oversight board. That's the attitude Joe Biden took when he himself uh, ran implementation of the American Recovery Act. And that's the view we're going to take going forward, open, transparent, and we want, to, we want to work with oversight because we want this money to be delivered. There were very big problems in uh, unemployment and PPP, you know, and uh, when the pandemic first started. And one of the things the president has tasked me to do is to look at the threat of identity theft across the board. So there are some new threats out there we got to take seriously. But I think when you look at something like this child tax credit today, it really shows the degree that we can implement, execute, get money to people. And yes, at the same time, keep an eye out and make sure we have stronger technology, stronger oversight to prevent any criminal syndicates or others from taking money that is meant to go to hardworking Americans' families.